Hi everybody, my name is Abiodun Joshua. I'm a third electrical engineering student at the University of Manitoba. I always loved electronics ever since I was a child. I would always open my calculators and other electrical gadgets. Sometimes they would still work after, sometimes they would not. <laughs> Pros and cons of the university program. Of course, the pro is you get to become an electrical engineer out of it. <laughs> and you get to become a better thinker. It really shapes the way you think and view things. The con of the program is it could be very stressful. The culture could be competitive, it could be helpful, and it could be neither of those things. It depends on how you take those things. The resources are available, you just have to use them. For me, I would say it's been very fast paced. You're graded based on your labs, your assignments, your ex midterm exams and your final exams. Usually the final exams have the most weight, about 50% of the weight. For project-oriented courses, the projects also hold a lot of weight. For the difference between high school exams and university exams, high school exams for me tested me based on exactly what the teacher thought. You could just read for the exam and you would pass. University exams are based on what the professor taught, has taught you, and it's based on way more. There is now questions on applications. There's now questions on, okay, you know the principle, like what's the next step? Yeah, so you're really, really tested. You have to have analytic skills, critical thinking skills. You have to be ready to learn new solutions. And you have to be both an independent and group learner. You have to be very good at learning. Everything you're given will be tested, add more. The labs, the lectures, the assignments, the midterm exams, study them all. Everything in lecture, study them. You will be tested on that and way more. <laughs> so for me, in my preliminary year, I was not expecting the course Intro to Thermal Science, but it was there. <laughs> It was a huge shock for me, but it was there. The course was more like an intro to thermodynamics and fluid mechanics. For me, being about to become an electrical engineer, I was not expecting it, but it's not the worst course. There's a lot of data analysis in the program. There's a lot of memorization and driving hard mathematical formulas, and there's a lot of studying for exams, to be honest. I would say the program is suitable for anyone who is motivated, interested, and interested. And your knowledge of math is also, is also a very good pro. Rather than taking courses in university based on hard versus easy classes, I would say take courses based on what you're interested in and what will be applicable for you. I'll give you an example. Signal processing, for me, it's interesting and I see applications of signal processing everywhere. For some, it might be considered a hard class, it might be considered difficult, but uh, I'm still gonna take that, or I have taken that actually. Course registration is done on your online student account on Aurora. You just have to follow the instructions, it's right there. And if you somehow have problems with that, you can always contact uh, your advisor. With this degree, we have seen applications in biomedical, the communication systems and defense, in artificial intelligence, in digital systems, in technology, <laughs> everywhere. I want to become <laughs> a design engineer. Graduate experience, of course, helps this. I would suggest internships. Internships are a very, very good way for you to gain experience. I would say from your third year, you should begin thinking about internships. For me, the popular go-to spot, or the go-to spot I know is the University Center. It's a very nice part of campus. It's full of life. There is everyone there. It's very diverse. Usually there's people, like there's the food courts there. There's people that are taking surveys or want to tell you about something there. There's people who are just using their laptops. You know, it's a very interesting place to be. Making friends, I would say do not be snobby. <laughs> be open and a good smile goes a long way. I'd say 
the university is very diverse. And for me, electrical engineering, like the program, the faculty of engineering itself is diverse and it is becoming more diverse. There are a lot of international students here and minority groups are very well welcome. There's resources available for mental health, academic support, financial and career. I know personally that uh, they always send out these emails regarding mental health saying, if you have any problems with your mental health, feel free to call this number or you should assess this person. For accommodation, there is also support on that. You could always talk to an advisor. For finances, there are seminars on that. For career, there are also seminars on that and there are some programs such as the career fair. There is also support for females. There are groups for female support. There are groups for LGBTQ. There are groups for different minority groups. For medicals, every student has medical. For me as an international student, in my fees is embedded is the International Student Health Insurance, which covers my medical. Not say be organized. <laughs> be organized. For self-care and mental health tips, I would say in your preliminary year, which is when you're just starting out, a lot of it could be overwhelming. A lot of it could really stress you out. You could feel like, oh my God, it's all coming to an end. Like, can I still do this? Take a breath, you know, relax. You can just take it steady, step by step. What did I wish I knew <laughs> when I was getting into the program? For me, the advice I wish was given to me was get more involved, volunteer more. It's a good thing to have on your resume. Just be involved, be involved. You could always run for a position later like some you know you could always become some secretary of a student group or the president of a some student group or something just be involved it's really good you would not regret it and good luck